Once you're done with the doily, wash it with water. Use some soap and clean the grime that might have accumulated. Here I'm using just hand soap, a few drops of the hand soap and rubbing it and pushing the soap into the doily and just squeezing the soap into it, soap suds into it and squeezing the water to remove all the soap. I'm not wringing, I'm not twisting, I'm just squeezing the water out of my doily. This process will help to settle the stitches as well as remove all the grime that has been accumulated while we work on our piece. So once I squeeze the water out of my doily, I take a towel and wrap this do washed doily in it. As I'm wrapping the doily in the towel, I squeeze it and press so that I can remove all the excess water from the doily. I squeeze it hard so that I can remove maximum amount of water from the doily. Take another towel, use a flat surface, press, open up the doily on the towel. Now this doily does not require too much of um, uh, pressing into shape and uh, I just use my fingers and hands to guide and uh, lay the doily. I'm using the pico points as my uh, point of reference and those motifs to help me mark the hexagon shape and once I'm happy with the way it is I just leave it overnight to dry. Now while washing you could also add a little bit of revive to it so that you can stiffen the doily while you wash it as well but here I've not added revive I've just washed with just plain hand soap. So I'm using my pico points and smoothing the doily out and pulling it in the direction that I want it to dry out. So once I have done this, the doily pretty much remains this way. So here I am showing you how I am stretching the points made by the picots to help me achieve the shape I have desired for this particular doily. This requires a little bit of patience because you need to be pushing and pulling and tugging at your piece, not too much, just a little bit so that the stitches have been nicely stretched out. The doily has a lot of chain meshes, so this doily is easy to block and you don't need pins. I haven't used any pins to secure. I just smoothened it out with my hands to lay it flat. That's it. You just have to keep working on it till you get and you're happy with the shape that you see from your doily. So smoothen it out. Press the points, make it lay flat and that's it. You are done. This is how you block this particular doily. And once the points have all been settled, you can just leave it to air dry. So this is how I have left my doily to air dry. Now just before I finish, I'm going to be using a little spray starch, just a tiny bit to, to help it hold its shape. So I'm using faultless spray starch. So just spray a few. I don't want it stiff like a cardboard, so I just spray some and let it dry. And uh, since it has been nicely dampened, it requires at least an overnight dry. And this is your finished doily. Thank you. Thank you.